How's it going guys? Welcome back to more Undermine. I'm gonna try and fly through things. I just want to get to the halls and really see what there is down there. See what kind of bosses, enemies, what have you. Just anything and everything. Try and more thoroughly explore it. Okay, I, I have the blessing that I, I had purchased us up above and had just upgraded the gold sack. So I just want to see how much I'm taking with me at this point. It's pretty good. Between the two there, is it somewhere up around like 90 almost? 10 twelfths. Closer to, closer to 80 probably. Increased health with the earth sign ring. Goes up by 40. It's pretty, pretty solid improvement actually. That's better than that uh, toughness, toughness blessing. Quick explosion to reveal that there is a, a secret room up above there. Now that I finally understand that mechanic, it's so easy to keep an eye out for and to, to work with and try and, and like use to your advantage. Oh, I can't believe they both got away on that one. I was really not on the ball there. Get myself a free bomb, free access to this one. I will take Savagery, actually. I think Savagery is pretty damn good. That increased crit chance can go a really far long ways. And I, I'm taking minor brittleness on as the curse. I kind of stated that as if I have a choice. I do not. Ooh, I bombed my way into a secret room and I managed to get the transmute in a bottle. Which uh, will mimic the effects of the transmute that I paid for to occasionally appear in the shops. The one where you can like pay health to refresh what the shop has. So I'm guessing if you have it in a bottle, then it's like you just chug that in a shop and it changes what the shop has. I can't think of any use it could possibly have outside of within a shop. So it's kind of weirdly like limited in that way, but it could still prove to be a useful thing. To hell with it, I'll give it a shot. More mimics than you would like. Uh, didn't actually get a blessing out of that one. Oh, but I did just bomb, or sorry, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I did blow up a bomb pilfer in the room to reveal that there's another secret room chilling right here, so I at least get this, even if I didn't, uh, didn't get that blessing I wanted. I did get to stock up on a few more items before venturing further down. I have a pretty good supply of stuff going on here for only being on the second level. Now I just gotta do something about these curses. Honestly, not the worst curses there are. Annoying, but like more damage is fine as long as I get rid of it before like the lower levels. And more mimics, as long as I'm cautious, the mimics aren't that strong on their own. If you're just kind of prepared for it, know that it's coming, wake them up and then get on the move and like run from them very uh, quickly then there's not that much they can do to you. Overstocking the shop. So that's pretty good. That really increases the odds of finding things like talismans in the shop. Hopefully I don't have to sink too much of my money into that though. I might as well duck up this way because it's obviously working towards the shop. Speak of the devil. I want to see what the overstock actually looks like. That is such a ridiculous wide spread of things that he just kind of unloaded there. It like doesn't really have proper space for it. It's just popping up all across there. I might think about buying... Oh, it's a Fury one. That's not even the one I thought it was. I'm going to try and transmute one more time. Crap. Alright, well, I'll take the ham shank to heal up some. It's really open for like at least one talisman in there somewhere, dude. Something a little more useful for me. Guess I got to kick out a curse. It's probably best to do it. Do you know what? I assumed it had to do with how low and far you were into the dungeon as to whether or not that would cost like 50 or 75 or 100 to remove a curse. I think it goes up every individual time that you use it. So the next time I use it, it's guaranteed going to be 75. Oh, I just realized. Can these... Can these be mimics? I gotta really, like, run and gun my opening of the chest just in case. That's terrible. I've never had such 
I've never had such bad luck in this room. That sucks. Spent 400 gold, 390 I guess, on 3 thorium. That's the worst that that room's ever gone for me. But, it must override the metamphys phobia. I gotta look that up and see if that's a made up word. Like, absolutely entirely, because like, mimics aren't a real thing, so what is it gonna be the fear of? Or if it's like the fear of the unknown or something, I don't know, something along those lines, you know? Oh, funny, it is, it, it's the fear of mimes. Like, painted in black and white, stuck in a box, here's a, like, mimes. So, metamphysamayophobia is the fear of mimes, which I guess you can kind of play around with the idea of it's the fear of mimics. It's, it's not quite a literal thing, because obviously mimics aren't real, but I, I do kind of like how they played around with that, and how they kind of, in like a roundabout way, got there. What are the odds either one of these guys is going to be mimics? Does a mimic not activate until you try to open it? Yeah, I thought just walking past it would do the job. You do actually have to try to open it. So I'm going to run from this one again immediately, just in case as well. Yeah, that's more than I would like. 100% of chests being mimics? That's pretty bad. <laughs> it might be less than 100%, like, that's not a guarantee. At least they still drop things when you kill them. At least you can still get gold and bombs and stuff like that. You're not getting totally robbed of, of potentially finding something useful. Mm, one thing I just chest tested is that rooms do not remember uh, where you've used bombs, so if you blow up a bomb in a room, leave and come back, there won't be like the remnants of an explosion there, so you can't really bank on that walking around to test and see which rooms may or may not have secret room access, and be like, have I blown a bomb up in here? Would a wall be sparkling if it were at all a possibility? Can't really use that as a way to, to guess and check. So you kind of got to work your way through. If you didn't catch it on the original time in the room, actually, well, if a bomb, it's kind of like, I, I was trying to go off of if a bomb had blown up, then a wall would already be sparkling if there were a secret room, but you kind of have to get lucky in the sense that, uh, you are you knew confidently that a bomb had blown up in that room and there was no secret to be discovered I was hoping to maybe get like a key or something out of that because if a bomb Did explode and there was no secret and there's no evidence that a bomb had ever exploded you might stupidly Blow up a like waste blowing up a bomb in there to check to test and get it wrong like I definitely tested this room with a bomb and there's no evidence of an explosion ever happening in that room. That's enough wasting of bombs running around doing that. I gotta, I gotta move on. Time to use Bobbo here to break as much of this stuff in this room as I can possibly manage. Ah, he's gonna get most of it and only a couple, uh, couple little zigzags. He's making good progress here. I remember there was a time where this enemy was, like, scary and tough to go up against and, like, it would be cause for concern that he might start rampaging around. Now he's like a tool. Now it's nice when you see him because it's probably in a room with a lot of stuff to break and you can just make use of his, uh, his rage. There's so much gold to gain in this room. There's a couple of these rocks down here. There's some in the wall, obviously a gold chest. I don't know what the rules are with mimics, if only the standard wooden chests with like keys and bombs and stuff are the kind that could become a mimic. I think that landed right on top of that guy's head. Or if any of them can be. Okay, I was trying to like keep my distance a little bit because I didn't entirely know what the rule was there. Seemed like I was able to play it a little bit safe. Oh damn. <laughs> Gotta recover quickly enough to not lose those bigger pieces of gold. Phew. And I still don't have keys to go to the treasure room or the shop. So I, I gotta hope that I manage to kick up some of that here sometime soon. There's one chest. I 
don't know if blowing up these barrels counts as an explosion. I think it must, like, count as a bomb to make a wall sparkle. So that's that's one good reason to, to go blowing that stuff up, I guess. And for that reason, I will now blow this one up. But still no signs of a secret room, so it's... I do not know. I don't know. This doesn't really confirm anything for me. I guess I'll go for the treasure room over the shop. Kind of got to pick and choose, unfortunately. Don't have access to both. Sustain yourself on gold. You get healed with gold. Ah, to hell with it. I'll blow this guy up. I am cursed. That thing where it drips fire from the ceiling. Hey, and I blew my way into another secret room. And it doesn't have anything particularly useful. Still no keys. As of yet. There's still the possibility. Nope, no keys in there whatsoever. Shit. No blessing out of that or anything. Hmm. Not great. I might have to do some secret room test bombings. Seeing as I'm sitting on quite a few bombs right now. Nicely done. That was quite lucky. <laughs> and I don't need float boots or anything like that. I just get healing more effective. Hey, that should compound really nicely with uh, healing through by collecting gold, actually. Because the, the amount you heal by collecting the gold is usually pretty minimal. And when layered together like that, it could actually be quite useful. I'm trying to think of where I could stick the bomb to blow up the most stuff to try and uh, possibly kick up a key for myself. No luck blowing up that big stack of rocks there. I thought that would have a good a good probability. Oh, ho, ho. but I just realized I can use the secret room to bomb my way sideways into the shop. So I oh one room too early, but I can definitely blast my way through here. So I'm gonna use that as my access point. Almost forgot that I could have could sneak in the back door like that. What do you got for me, man? Hmm, I'll take the fish for a little bit of healing. Throw damage, not particularly interested. Increase potion length time, not really interested. I think I will grab a key and a slightly more healing, though. Just try and get as much out of it as I can. I mean, I went through all that trouble to get there. Now that I've reached it, might as well take some advantage. Hmm, this guy just got straight up stuck. I'm gonna bomb, <laughs> quickly stab him, and see if he reveals a secret room. I wasn't expecting there to be a secret room in like an access point room like that. Layering together all these, these terms and lingo. Here I finally found some gold. It heals so little health that the hardiness doesn't improve it. Because I think it improves it by about 20%. And a 20% increase on 1 is 1.2. And the game literally just, like, doesn't register that. It's too low. Too low to get rounded up into anything useful, unfortunately. Don't have the range on my swing to, to hit that. Why does this feel like it's going to be a trap? Let alone the fact that I have high mimic chance. That, regardless of if I had high mimic chance, I would have guessed that that was a mimic based on how little was going on in that room. Felt a little strange that way. Ah, the satisfaction of suddenly having recovered a bunch of health. That feels good. Makes me feel a little bit less worried about the state of state of this particular run. I I can recover. We can we can survive still. There's still a lot of possibilities here. Man, I would love to find an altar and get rid of a, a curse or two. This is the most effective crowd controlling I've ever done. The fire dripping helped me. It like only helped. <laughs> that was that was very good. I, I I can feel quite proud of what was done there. 
Oh, oh, bomb possibility. Secret room revealed? Two secret rooms revealed. That's perfect. That's like exactly what you want to get out of something like that. There's almost a temptation to like save this room and use it as a healing opportunity for when I've taken uh, a bunch of damage. But I might forget to come back to it. <laughs> so I should probably just try and collect all the gold now. And just try to not take an excessive amount of damage out there in the in the regular world. And really, I basically needed to crack most of them open just to get back up to full health anyways. So I would have been holding out for the sake of later gaining. Oh, I managed to stop that one. Wow. <laughs> for later recovering like 7 health or whatever. So it's it, it's more, more, more worth my while to just take it take it then and there let's blow up that stupid thing 116 damage from the bombs bombs can be pretty damn strong can't they i really wish that these tables were anything feels like such a missed opportunity for that to not drop uh dr have a, have a chance to drop i guess it could still be a chance of dropping uh a recipe oh my my curses were in the way of me seeing that originally I've, I've really only experimented with it one, and it failed on the one attempt that I made. So I, that could still be a way of finding, uh, that, was I saying curses? Crafting things? Recipes? That's mostly what I'm, what I would want it to drop, if anything. But I realize the game has a pretty finite number of recipes to dish out. But it doesn't dish them out very often, they're pretty rare to find, and it's only the second time I've found one of those tables, so... I don't think that's too unreasonable still. Chance on hit to ignite your enemies, as if I don't have enough fire going on <laughs> absolutely everywhere at all times on this run. That's just uh, one more way which we, we have to deal with that. Ah, oh, it's expensive, but I'm for sure buying it. Still have to live with fire dripping everywhere, but odds are I'll find an altar soon. <laughs> yeah, just like that. That's what I was waiting on. Perfection. Kick that shit out of here. Perfect. No longer sitting on some annoying mountain of curses. Good healing opportunity as well as a making money opportunity. Oh, I hate when they grab the big ones. Two of them grab big ones. Damn, I should have just let one of them get away probably and focused more on just grabbing what was left. If you let one get away, usually that works out that you're able to stop the rest of them. But uh, as soon as I split my attention like that, I, I kind of screwed things up a little bit. There we go, I was having aiming troubles there. Finally. <laughs> Bit of a pain that was. Oh, bomb one. Gotta blow him up. Damn it. I always throw the axe too early, so I didn't get the the possible secret room reveal out of that guy that I was hoping for. Man, I don't want to deal with these guys in this tight room like this. Yep. Try to, try to deftly avoid things. He's burning to death. That helps me out a little bit. <laughs> Makes it a little bit less for me to have to deal with. I'm also, in anytime I see a skeleton in a corner like that, I'm very cautiously trying not to kill them. Set at the end of the room, that was some good avoiding. Good, lucky, one of the two worked out well. Uh, I like to not destroy the skeleton so at the end of the room I can quickly investigate, do a peep, and see what they're carrying. The frequency with which they actually do have an item to drop is high enough that it feels super worth it. To, to try and save them. It's a good, it's like a higher probability than crates and things like that dropping benefits for you, so it's, it is very worthwhile the majority of the time. No, no, I don't think there's anything there I particularly need. I can run back and heal if things get dicey, I guess, but otherwise I'm not gonna worry about it too much in this particular run. All right, I think you guys have had enough healing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put an end to that. Just quickly shut them all down. End their hopes and dreams. I don't know if they were considered pros or amateurs. They were like up and coming priests in their field. 
but it's uh, put an end, early end to their career. Ricochet. Oh, it was the last run that I had the speed toss. Because when you have the fast throw mixed with the ricochet, it's like one of my favorite combos to have. It's so insanely outrageous. Hmm, I do have to consider it at least, I think. At least a little bit. Something. I do have several things helping me hang on to my money. Lose more gold on death. Sweet. So that kind of undid that a little bit. Gotta try and live long enough to remove that curse. Oh, this is a bad one to have Ricochet on. I think I have to go... Like, alright, except for in a, in a moment where they're clearly none of them are activated, I have to not throw, because otherwise the ricochet could end up totally screwing me over. Good, the fire, the fire finished that one off. Yeah, because if they all went supercharged and I tried to throw, uh, like a regular uh, throw, <laughs> what am I trying to say, at one of those flies to try and take them down, and then all of a sudden, it's ricochets six times off of those guys. Increased swing damage. If it went crazy ricocheting off of all of them, then I'm just going to take whatever it is, 20 damage off each bounce and just get ruined. So I, I totally didn't want to get too involved in that one. But a room like this, that's where you're really <laughs> getting the benefit of the ricochet. Ooh, does that ever end up being powerful? Less important, like, versus a boss, except for the last boss, he did have, he did have the, the orbs that I'm sure it could have ricocheted off of to help do enhanced damage, but for the most part, that's not the best. Oh, I want, I want to go chase down the, the bomb one. I don't think there, there couldn't have been a secret room off that one, though, because there's four access points, so I should have, should have just ignored him overall. Luckily, I still got the the more valuable gold drops that happened there. Talisman, maybe, please? Ah, uh, again, none. Dang. You so rarely hand those out, dude. Even with the uh, big old expanded shop there. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be a top sell priority of yours. Oh crap, I don't have the mimic thing anymore, so I kind of had stopped thinking about it too much. Apparently I can't escape it. My misomomalophobia phobia has stuck around. <laughs> I never I never quite got over it, did I? There we go. That had to come up eventually. Didn't have to. Really hoped that it would, so I can go back to hanging on to a very substantial amount. Ooh, bummer. I do want in that room, please. I'll blow up a few things in hopes for a key, maybe a secret room reveal. Nah, so now I just kind of have to scour the floor for potential secret room access points. It's temptation to go blow up that curse lantern. Don't think I will. Well, it can't be this one. I know that this guy's not going to drop a curse or a, a secret room. Probably can't be this room either because of its weird ass layout. What was this one all about? It's just a pretty regular looking room to me. I uh, I guess I drop a bomb and give it a try. There is a secret room in it, just not where I thought there's two. Can I blow up both with one? Is that okay? I was scared that I was gonna end up wasting both bombs. <laughs> Singular key. That's a lame treasure room. Nine times out of ten happened to be like exactly what I needed this particular time Hell yeah Heal plus gold. This is uh, this is a good Good discovery and only needed one bomb for it. So that's that's even better Now that I've committed harder to my searches for secret rooms and know how to properly look for them and discover them uh, I feel like it's made a very impactful improvement on my overall run progress and quality. These guys have glowing eyes. Is that just because they're specifically associated with this gold chest? That's my theory. Huh. I hadn't noticed that before. I think it's just because they were hanging out next to a gold chest like that. Really sparkling in their eyeballs. Whoa! 
I've never seen a grilled up one of these before. A pocket grill cooks all your food. Oh, it's a relic. A cooking grill, miniaturized by a wizard that enjoys backpacking in the enchantments. Is that some forested area? We're getting expanded lore in this game? I don't think I've ever had the cooking... I have not ever had the cooking grill. A pretty useful item. I just happen to not really be sitting on a lot of keys. Luckily, I have five bombs. Because I kind of very precisely need four. So I, I, got, I got one to spare here. Uh, I might gain a bomb from this if I'm like lucky or whatever. I'll, I'll chance it. Cursed. I'm immediately cursed. But a rare recipe. Bottled Pilfer brewed at the Alchemist. Is that, is that specifically going to spawn one of those gold ones? Enemies release spiders on death, arachnophobia. A float potion, the nitroglycerin that drops bombs all the time. I'm gonna grab it. I was just curious if it provided... The way that when you pick up a new bomb upgrade, you know, it gives you a bomb. I was curious if that one would immediately give you... Picking up a potion would give you a bomb or something, if it's a bomb-based potion. I don't know. Thought it was worth experimenting on. This is one of the cheapest ways to get my hands on a talisman, so that's pretty solid. Uh, I, the, the, the recipe is cool. The recipe was worth it. I, of course, would have rather had a blessing, but I think that sounds like a really cool potion. And I can specifically, you can specifically use it to, like, summon it in a room where you know that you have high damage. There's not many, like, corners or anything for that annoying little guy to run to, so you can really just go crazy on him. So I feel like that was a, a very specifically cool recipe to gain, so I, I feel good about it. Oh man, well I'm not gonna mess around too much in here. Lure these guys around, don't want to mess around with my ricocheting. Holy shit, remove a curse. That's awesome. That's really great to know that I have just waiting for me in this room now. That's the ricochet, ah, uh, ricochet shit. I was scared about happening earlier. There, I was being less cautious about it. I thought I could fool around with it a little bit. I was purposely trying to kick that guy into the blade. Thought it would be funny. It was. I got a chuckle out of it at the very least. Now and again, and just kind of more often than used to happen, this just is like a satisfying run. It just has felt good so far. Especially in a situation like this, where I can instantly, uh, I don't, what, how, how much stuff do I have that's like throwing focused or anything like that? Where I can immediately know I can just undo whatever curse I receive here. I don't really have damage focused stuff. My swing speed is enhanced a, a couple different times actually. So maybe it's time to actually focus on the swing speed while I'm at it. Decreasing throw speed, pretty slow and painful kind of sucks. Doesn't really matter <laughs> that much when I can immediately get rid of it. Oh, this run has just been a bounty. It has felt so great overall. Immediately getting the hell out of that. Oh, you guys think you think you're so smart with your priestly abilities? I've been training. I've been practicing. I know how to cook my meats. I know how to dodge your attacks. I I got it all worked out. The dungeons have long since stopped being a real problem. I think this is swing damage again. Swing damage at high health specifically. Man, I'm layering together a lot of stuff down there. <sighs> I just gotta hope it translates to a strong performance down below in the halls. The halls have been much less forgiving for me. I'll give this guy a quick peep before he gets accidentally destroyed or something. Try and put her down quickly. Try to stop too many of these guys from lighting up. Hmm, don't recall offhand what potion that is. I'm gonna have to like consult the my little manual, my little reference guide thing to see whether or not that feels worth bombing or keying into. It doesn't seem like anything that I particularly would care about. It is increase attack speed. Nah. 
usually don't care about that sort of stuff unless I know I'm going straight for a boss. Oh, there's a, there's a rock there, apparently. I think this is worth it. I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I'm going to float my way on over there. I'm going to I'm going to spend a key on this and see what what lies in wait trapped. It was not worth it. It sucked. Total complete waste. That's too bad. Now I don't have a way into the shop. Hopefully uh, the shop didn't have anything that uh, useful to dish out today anyways. Those those priests can be quite slow in their reaction time, it seems. Can often make them a uh, pretty easy target. They can be really frustrating when left unattended, chucking their little magic spells around and, and healing up anything and everything. But on a whole, they're not the worst. Super quick secret room hunt has led me to believe that this is a spot worth testing. No luck there. And so, that basically leaves me with testing here, same as I did last time, and nothing. So, I, I have no inkling of an idea of where to check for a secret room on this floor then. Mm, it wouldn't be here, maybe here, but odds are pretty low. Probably just gonna hang on to the bomb and skip the shop. I'll bomb some lanterns in the off chance I get lucky. <laughs> okay, my luck has not run out yet. Now obviously I'm bombless, but uh, hey, we'll see what kind of fun stuff they got lying in wait at the shop here. Maybe he's, maybe he's got something fun and worthwhile to offer up for a change. Gold duplication would be funny, it's crazy expensive, don't think I'm gonna bother. Transforms all relics in the room. It's unclear whether we will ever learn the secret of this ooze. I am pretty happy with the relics I've been turning up. I'm gonna go with a, a quick bomb and a quick key. Obviously I said that in the wrong order. Just to kind of restock that a little bit. Because now I gotta go down to the halls. I don't know what to expect and I want to have those as options. Just in case. Oh, my butt cheeks are getting a little tired. After this run, I gotta take a break from playing games. It's taking a taking a real toll. Really suffering. Uh, free shop, like a non-key access shop, which is kind of neat. Helpful, helpful for me. It's rare that I come across that. Especially, I wouldn't expect to be this late in in the game. I know I got a curse removal, two curse removals if I really, really need it. The adventure is whip, discover more treasure rooms. Someone told me there's like a cool little secret if you get the whip and the hat in the same run. It's so expensive though. The free loader, something for nothing. Uh, I don't think, don't think I'm going to do, buy any of that stuff right this second. <laughs> but maybe in another second. The throw damage, not speed. I could really just keep pumping up strength. There's a lot of options here. I would take any of them. Hmm. I have the ricochet, and so I think having more damage is is probably a better bet. Deal less throw damage. It's funny, it's funny when the curse is the exact opposite of what the blessing is that you just invested in. Uh, excuse me, gents, while I move just completely directly laterally a couple rooms and uh, get rid of that. Don't want it. Don't even want to have to suffer through it for even one singular room. You know? Oh, these are the type of spikes that pop up as you run on them. So I gotta ditch this bomb and immediately get moving because the, the bomb has such a wide explosion <laughs> potential. Hey, 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 duplicates all basic all basic items in a room. So you can totally use that to snag free shit from the shop, but like the the talismans and, and things like that are not basic. So there's not... In this particular shop, I don't think there's that much I would get from it. Crypt Lurker. We got a tougher Lurker. I don't want to... Okay, I was scared it was going to do something exactly like that. So that's terrifying. My god, that's hard to deal with. 
Uh, I was pretty much assuming that was what... <laughs> how they would make it stronger was that it shoots that sort of shit out in multiple directions the way it did. Holy god damn. That's kind of awful. Oh, you sneak. It's, it's crazy. It relocks the, the room and everything when that comes up. It, like, forces you... Forces you to stick it out and, and deal with that. Oh, baby. That amount of gold dishing out. Ah, barely missed him. I gotta live. I gotta live long enough to take the advantage of all this sort of stuff. Uh, I have no way to light any of those. Hey, it, like, mostly only tossed the big ones out. I got no way to float my way across to that or anything. I don't have the bombs for it anyways. Can't utilize most things from there is what I'm getting at. Oh, impy boy. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep a, keep a move on. Didn't realize those pressure plates were there. And these are just regular glooms. Oh, not quite regular, are they? It seemed like the art looked a little bit different. They, they apparently will break up and, and cause chaos. That looked breakable. I wasn't 100% confident in that. And this is... Ow, Glycerin, drop gold continuously. Uh, dope. <laughs> I've maybe seen that one once before. Luckily, it was not the uh, deadly kind. I am not going to use that immediately. Keyblade, pretty cool to have. Don't happen to have a lot of keys on this uh, current run. I want to use it in a room like this. Maybe this side is better. I don't know what side is better because I know it's gonna start kicking them out in like The most random ass directions. I should probably just like stay still and try and rake it in this way Because I think I made that mistake previously if you run around while it's generating all the gold Then it ends up all over the room and it makes it that much harder to get so if you just kind of sit still and let it do its thing That seems to be the more effective option ah, I didn't mean to didn't mean to free up that gold. Just trying to focus on ricochet killing the, those bats. Why does that happen sometimes? It's like only when you're in combat can your throws actually dislodge gold like that. Makes it makes it tricky because you quite often will accidentally free up a bunch of shit that you weren't quite ready to. Barring something terrible, this is like the first time I think we're gonna make it to the second level of the halls <laughs> that feels that feels pretty nice but I gotta I gotta see what's going on in here first whoa two curses to receive any of this what did it choose they're just calling it choose free food at the shop the type of bomb that I've had before I do I don't have the intensifier on this run that was a previous run Taking on double curses like that is not something I'm interested in. None of those were good enough of benefits for me to really want to go for for anything like that. I do want to quickly run back up to the shop and refresh myself of what was up there uh, to see if I want to use this right now. I would get a key. I don't think the food counts. I think I would get a key. So that's really not that special, is it? <sighs> I'm really tempted. More treasure rooms. I'm gonna do it in the hopes that I also find the hat. And I don't want to spoil it specifically for anyone what happens when you also find the hat. Um, I specifically, someone had teased it in the comments and I was like, what is it? Tell me. Uh, so I opened myself up for that. I asked for it, but I don't want to ruin it for you guys. We'll just have to hope that it happens on a run, possibly today. Today, hopefully today. I'm I'm looking forward to the possibility of being able to show that off, and I would very much like to gain that benefit. What the shit, wolf spiders? Ah, just like the worst thing in real life. Now all of a sudden you gotta worry about it in this game. Oh god, they're dropping eggs and shit too. Oh god, okay, they do not have a lot of health. Uh, kind of terrifying though that so many of them can and will come up at once like that. I, I, <laughs> that didn't go too poorly, especially since a necromancer got tossed into the mix there too. 
but they wig me out a little bit. Plus, they look terrifying. Wolf spiders have this weird ability to kind of look a little bit cute, but at the same time, they're fucked. <laughs> Uh, very glad to have the ricochet for that. I don't know what the hell that thing is. I don't like it. I don't like what's going on here. I gotta focus on getting rid of this necromancer, I think. He's, he's, uh, the, my biggest risk currently. What the fuck is this guy? Blackguard? Is that what it was called? He was sketchy. Teleporting around the room, charging me down like the footmen do and things like that. I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna. Ah. Damn, stupid, stupid damage to take there. Hopefully, don't do that again. Recover the minuscule amount of health that I can with the gold. The frequency with which that has come up and probably helped me across this run is pretty massive. I shouldn't turn my nose up at it. Wow, those guys go fucking nuts. Better watch your back. Yeah. Okay, uh, not bad advice. I didn't realize there was an imp in the room. Now I've woken up more gargoyles. She. <laughs> I'm waiting for the black guard to pop up. There, there, there. Now I can kind of focus on him for a minute. Try and, like, chip away at these enemy types and stuff. Fuck, that did a lot of damage just by him ground pounding. I'm just gonna ride this out. I'm just gonna sit here. Shit, the other guy came over. I was waiting for him to wake himself up so I could really focus my attacks on him for, for a minute there. God, okay. Tricky room. Not too happy about it. This guy's healing up a lot of his health right now. Really trying to avoid taking the, the fire damage because it can really, really ruin a run. God damn, okay, I'm just getting in there and finishing him off. Holy fuck. That one's not going to wake up. At least he doesn't seem like he's going to. Maybe he's tricking me. Maybe he's waiting. I gotta immediately go to the shop. Please have an adventurer's hat. That'd be so rad. Ah, such a shame. I don't think I want that. I'll buy a stake and one transmute. Curse removal is always cool and stuff. But, uh, damn. I really wanted to get the hat, but I wanted to get it right now, because suddenly this uh, run is wigging me out a little bit. Those uh, those black guards are currently the the thing I hate the most. They seem tough to to kind of get used to, just teleporting around so aggressively. It's, it's, it's rather terrifying. Fucking stepped on it myself. I was trying to be so mindful of them. I was trying to look very actively for where all the pressure plates were in the in the room to not get messed up that i must have had that the last run here i am thinking that the intensifier and the leftovers are like i already have all this stuff why do i keep finding shit i already have um tempted to like do a test bomb to search for a secret room i only have the one bomb though so i don't know if it's it would be a, a good spot to spend it in and to immediately run in case it's a mimic ah uh, well not a mimic but still shitty ha 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 but it did reveal two secret rooms for me uh, i only have the one bomb though so i kind of got to be hopeful that i managed to kick up another one here right the leftovers the leftovers are what's helping me out there it's pretty good timing with that to find extra opportunities opportunities to heal. What all are you carrying right now? One key, one bomb. That's not that crazy. I should have done this sooner. Didn't realize that counted as a common item. I did look into it. You, if, if I were to pick that up without a curse, it literally just does nothing. So it is not worth it. I basically gotta hope I get cursed in this room <laughs> if I want to get that benefit. Huh. Well, I did get, uh, at the very least, a blessing. Oh, I'm a bomb shy of getting two blessings. That's so disappointing. But, no, and I'm a bomb shy of this too. I could, I was like, I could blow this up and purposely take on a curse. There's another room next to this one? What's going on with that? Shit. Ah, uh, I really, really need bombs. I can, I can rotate out what the shop has. 
I'm risking taking a lot of damage. Oh, good. He, he literally already has one for sale. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can I place this bomb exactly in, like, the middle here to blow up both of those? That's what I'm hoping for. Sick. All right. The all enemies ignite. I get more keys. I get lose less gold on death again. I can also go and claim this while I'm at it. And I can immediately get rid of that curse. If I happen to kick up another bomb, then yeah, I'm gonna go see what the hell's going on in that room. What a crazy combination of shit. So close together there. I just... Uh, so many benefits. Back to back. Uh, I think I have to. Well, do you know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm gonna smash everything in the shop and search for a bomb first. And in the room that'll take me down a, a lair. I'm not sure if I've actually gone up into it yet. So maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. One of these leaves has a bomb. No dice. I could make this blow up and hope that one of those has a bomb within it. Ah, it only blew up the one. So, my only hope would be to spend 80 health at the shop and hope that a bomb turns up. But I'm so curious at this point that I think I have to. Well, there's a, there's a bag of bombs. So I got all kinds to go off of there. And pretty low health at this point, so I'm hoping that was worth it. I'm just so curious about the potential. This is a crazy run. There's so much fun shit getting kicked up continuously. Oh, baby. What do you got in store for me here? Additional treasure room, but I got more bombs. I did get more bombs. I was like, shit, I'm not gonna be able to do it because I don't have... Or it's not a treasure room. It's just like a... It's a, a chest room. Uh, bunch of health. Bunch of health benefits. That's... That's great to have. Extra gold and all that. So much. So much stuff just happened on this floor, and because that means I swept the second floor, there must not be a mini-boss on this one. This is the first floor, too, to not have its own mini-boss, which is kind of surprising, actually, so I guess we just carry on down. Oh, the nerves. Oh, didn't mean to ignite that right away. There's that imp in the corner that's messing me up while I'm busy trying to deal with the bats try to finish that off quickly but now all of a sudden oh good he managed to burn to death Ooh, I'm noticing the recording is getting a little choppy here and there I'm hoping it's not overly noticeable just I'll notice the game skips a frame or two relatively infrequently it's not too crazy every new room I enter will heal me ever so slightly <sighs> things are just going repeatedly well but that makes me so nervous. I'm getting like shaky because things could just go wrong at any minute, you know? Not the worst. I still get the health out of that. But I'm, I'm dancing over here. I got some sweaty palms. Nervous about what might be waiting around any corner that might end a run. Like the Blackguard, I hate him. I'm specifically trying to keep a really strong eye out for uh, the pedestals and shit there. Didn't realize that thing was in the room getting ready to mess me up. Where is he? He's popping up there. I could see that because he was burning. <laughs> Shooting arrows at me. Ooh. Okay. The guard, the black guard, when he pops up, I'm assuming I, that I read his name right. I kind of only caught it at a glance that one time. Uh, it seems like he will charge you down twice. And then, and then... Uh, he like sits for a second before he teleports again. It's very important to try and learn the different like attack patterns of these new enemies and stuff. Ah, uh, uh, damn it! I was risking a lot going throw only there in the sense that it might ricochet super far away from me. I got a cursed one there. I see no need. <laughs> I see no need to risk that. Damn. Oh, we got a stronger Bobo. Never seen a strong Bob, stronger Bobo yet. Throwbo! 
He throws shit around. God damn, all those blew up at once. He chucked himself down the, the tiniest hole. There's two holes in this entire room and he managed to jump down one of them. Oh, okay, there's more gold to collect up here. Gotta rake in as much of that as I can. Uh, because I, I do have quite a bit working in my favor of hanging on to gold when I die. So I would really love to make it up top with just a shitload of gold to go off of. 167, I'll, I'll bite. <laughs> Literally. Bite down on that food. I don't know if the fourth floor is still a floor. Every other one, every other one has been like a side thing where you go and access the boss. I don't know if it'll work differently here. I know I got that waiting for me now too. Mm, one. I'll do one, maybe two of this. Free bomb, whatever. Not great. Don't feel the need to repeatedly risk it. I don't know though, because I'm pretty sure the halls are the last set of levels. So there's a possibility that just immediately tosses you down to the boss. But it would probably be a more decorative looking thing if that were the case. A quick key, toughness blessing, uh, receive a minor curse when using a key. I hate that one. The haunted locks one is terrible. I really, really hate that one. So I'm going to immediately remove it. That was the only reason I risked, risked that. I'm going to go to the shop, heal up a bit more again. I might scour the floor a little bit for secret room potential. I only have the one bomb left. I'm going to chuck a bomb here. Hell yeah. <laughs> I felt pretty confident about that one. I'm glad I got rid of the, the key curse. Ah! Ah! Yeah, uh, oh, luckily it managed to blow that open for me, though. I hope it's not also trapped. Oh, it is! It is! It is! <laughs> that was really bad luck. There's totally another secret room down there. Not a single one of those extra bombs could have blown that up. There was so many bombs coming from all possible directions. Not a single one could, uh, could throw me a bone there. It's really trying- this run is really milking the bombs and keys out of me here. It's really taken me for everything I got. Now I keep having to run back to the shopkeeper being like, what? Just- just one more thing. I just- there was one more thing I quickly wanted to grab. Well, before I leave, the hell with it. I'm buying two bombs. There are odds that I'm gonna end up needing two to gain the full benefits from over there. The amount of upgrades I'm sitting on down here is hilarious. I love it. I had forgot for a second where the hell it was I was trying to get to. Okay, run out of the way. Big, dangerous, exploding all over the place. <sighs> Quit making me spend all my health and everything. I don't even want to do that again. I don't even see the need. That, that northern wall there kept sparkling and it's all tempting like oh I gotta, I gotta go blow that up no it's just an access point here to the same room that I was already just in I just walked through this room like 18 different times and I can't believe that I stupidly went a slightly different direction and managed to take that extra bit of damage Ugh, nerves it's like the first time we made it to like the second floor of the halls and all of a sudden we're cruising on down to the the last Floor, presumably the last floor how does that happen I don't know man but it starts to get in your head a little bit I'm gonna cause an explosion with this in case of secret room damn it how did that manage to fall exactly right there there is a secret room though while I'm at it better wait till I'm done burning just in case it breaks the skeleton and I don't get a chance to peep I guess I immediately take this take this extra access point here should be worth it. Well, I know if I find an extra bomb where I'm taking it at the very least. Any of you guys hiding a bomb? No extra bombs? Oh wait, it was a key. It's a key one, not a bomb one. What am I saying? Uh, I'll go for this. That, I think, was curse removal. <laughs> wow. Wow. How does this run just keep on giving? 
scary skeletons, crimson skeletons that feels very Diablo-esque. I feel like that's that's literally a thing that you would commonly see in Diablo. Uh, wish I hadn't activated quite so many pressure plates there. I can't... Well, they can't throw at me from there either, so I guess one of us kind of has to make the move and get in there. God, they have a lot of health. That's sketchy. Even their skulls. It was about to reanimate or something. It was twitching. It was totally twitching. Uh, their skulls have a shitload of health. I'm glad I just am so mindlessly violent that I chose to immediately kill them. Because I think some shit was about to happen there. Did I accidentally spend a key on this? Did I intentionally do it? When did that happen? The spike boots. Probably not something I overly am going to care about this late in the game. Whatever. <laughs> Just nice to get yet another thing, I guess. Okay. Probably shouldn't have... What the fuck? Oh, he's throwing it. He threw that at me. Jesus. This guy's a little uh, bananas, isn't he? A little bit ape shit. Kind of have to be concerned about what kind of crazy shit he's going to get up to. I, I, I want to go kill that skull as quickly as I can because I'm scared about what might happen if I don't. Ah, there's so much going on in this room. He threw a pilfer at me. This crazy guy just throws anything and everything. What a maniac. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's like a pretty silly little character just hatefully throwing anything he can get his hands on. Well, that's the boss room. We know we got that coming up. Oh, I immediately stepped on that and realized what a mistake that was. Hmm. Odds are these gargoyles are going to wake up, so I'm going to try and keep my distance and take these guys out before getting, like, too involved with that. If I can get rid of all this shit. Stayed, stayed closed, so there's definitely gargoyles incoming. Bah. Tried to tried to get that guy to get a free bomb test. I don't know if what these guys are spitting counts as an explosion for the sake of finding out if there's a secret room here. Well, this guy's gonna wake up first, right? So second he starts wiggling, I'm gonna start swinging. Get the hell out of there. Crack shot. Swing. Bail. Throw. I got a system here, guys. <laughs> I call it Swing Bail Throw. It's, uh, it's a, a great one, two, three. It's, uh, it took years to perfect. I'm still, I'm still noticing really small frame drops. It's infrequent. I'm hoping it's not too noticeable for you guys. My apologies if it's uh, taking you out of it. Oh, I gotta get through to the other side there and deal with that fucking necromancer as quick as possible. Oh, he's really beefing up his, his army over there. I don't want to deal with that. Get me, get me over there. It's too many skeletons. I don't know if he has a limit to the number of skeletons he'll summon at once. I fear that the answer is no. That he'll just keep summoning them. So I really felt the need to get in there and get involved. It's nice to see those hundred plus damage dealings coming up now and again makes me feel, really feel the power and the progress overall from this run here. What do you got for me? I could keep all my gold. I already keep such an insanely high proportion of it that I do not feel the need to go for that. Um, I really wish the adventurer's hat <laughs> was something that I, I obtained just then. I'm gonna blow that up just to see if anything cooks up. I see a skull behind there that I'm gonna smash. This is like the last room. <sighs> Gargoyles. Gargoyles. I hope people in, in the gargoyle fighting episode, which at this point was quite a while ago, uh, totally got the reference of the, the episode title. I called it like Stone by Night or something like that. It's totally a reference to the Gargoyles TV show uh, from like the opening intro thing that Keith David reads at the beginning of that awesome, awesome show. Uh, so hopefully people got that. I didn't want to specifically draw attention to it, but now it's been a while. 
I know that I can safely take this on. It added all enemies inflict poison. Guess what? No, they don't. <laughs> I'll take, I'll just take my extra blessing while I'm at it. I don't even need that food. I'm so stacked with shit right now to take with me down to this boss battle, but I don't remotely know what to expect down there, so that kind of terrifies me. Did a, a palm wipe from the, the sweatiness. Took a big sip of water. Down we go. <laughs> What's coming? Oh, the suspense. I don't want to go. Wow, that's terrifying. Nori, Specter of Darkness. Oh, God. Okay, he's immediately summoning the little hands to go after me. I don't want to get too close too early because I don't know what to expect. I tried to hit the hand there, see what would happen. Try and fight from a distance. Fuck. He keeps sneaking those out on me. I can't, I can't like hit the arms, it doesn't seem like. So that's something. Oh, I, as soon as one pops up to me, I gotta jump. I gotta jump because I, I think that will protect me. Crap, how long are these gonna chase me for forever? I can't I can't attack those either. Luckily they're temporary. They don't stick around. I don't know if I'm supposed to be mindful of his his lights around the room. He just turned out all the lights. Maybe that's when he does that particular attack or something specific like that. Oh, okay, he's getting more aggressive with the arms. I don't know how many arms this dude has. He only has two popping up at a time. I just realized how little damage this is dealing. How much, uh, like, protective shit this guy has. He cursed me. That shit deals curses when it touches you? Holy crap. It just made shop stuff it cost more, so that's, like, not... Not bad. Don't really have to worry too much about that, but that really sucks that this guy could really fuck you up in the middle of a battle. Like, he could, he could make you deal less damage, he could make you take more damage, he could make it that you lose more gold at the end. Nope, 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 just gonna run, just gonna run, don't wanna deal with curses. Don't need additional curses ruining my day. No thank you. On a scale, this is going well, but I'm, I'm at half health. He has, uh, like, at least three quarters of his health left. I'm trying to do a little bit extra damage there if I can get a little get a little bit closer to him. Might as well try and up the damage output a little bit. Because otherwise this is gonna be too painful. Oh, I'm twitchy and shaky. I'm gonna probably stop talking so damn much while I focus on the the battle at hand here. I don't know if he does damage when touching you at all. I am unclear on that so far. He kind of gets close a lot, but I still don't know where his hitbox, if his hitbox is specifically his like mouth thing there. So that's what I'm specifically trying to avoid. The swing damage is mostly where I seem to need to be focusing right now. Oh, I hate when he summons that shit right on top of me. Oh, oh god damn. Okay, he himself does not seem to do damage. I seem to be able to like get into it a little bit. Oh, he's changing his directions on me a little bit. He's going trickier. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, I'm so insanely nervous about this. Ah, I think I drank too much caffeine on top of how nervous I am because I'm I'm like shaking on the keyboard here. Yeah, do more of those hundred damages. He's starting to do the, the arm summer, summoning thing like non-stop too. He's committing a lot harder to that. They're popping up so frequently at this point. Gah. I don't know if he's gonna have a second stage. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I gotta commit, I gotta, I gotta worry more about dodging and less about trying to get those tiny little shots off on him. Cause he's committing so hard to this hand shit. Fuck you, dude! Da! This is terrifying. I'm terrified. Da! Ha! Ah. <laughs> oh, it's shaking. Oh, he has too high a defense. 
I didn't realize his defense was getting better that whole time. I couldn't do damage throwing at him anymore. Oh, I'm shaking. No! You piece of shit, I'm gonna spike this fucking headphones into the ground. No! No! Oh, that's so fucking dumb! What is all that that I would have had? Thousands! Thousands of dollars in gold and blueprints and shit. And I don't know if I get that stuff again. I don't know if that's gone now. I just realized the area is nowhere. That's cool. That's so much that I just got robbed of. That's so infuriating. I'm so not happy about that. I gotta like reach out to the devs and be like, what was I supposed to receive there? Because I want it. I want to like edit my save file and give myself all that shit. Because that's a lot. That's so much to be robbed of. And I had so much. I was keeping like 90% of my gold or whatever. Fuck. That in like a thousand different ways. That just shouldn't count against me like that. Fucking sucks. She's hanging out over here now, though. So maybe the game still counts that I got that artifact or that I killed that guy or whatever. God damn it. Lamb, if you find more tomes in the Undermine, bring them to me. I will unlock their secrets for you. I don't know, dude. I probably did just find a bunch and can't bring them now. Damn it. Lilith, that ingrate. I ex. Spend life upon life to free her from imprisonment, and this is how she shows her gratitude, lies, and slander. Does not matter, peasant. She has a job to do, and that is to help you, for your quest is noble. <sighs> fuck, fuck all of you. <laughs> I should have, and all of you, I mean these guys, not everyone watching, all these guys up here. Ugh. I just got so robbed. Smo's hammer, a larger bronze hammer that tapers outward, belonged to a disgraced executioner. Guess I'm buying Smo's. Maybe the golden axe? I don't know. I don't know what to go buy. Maybe I should have bought the pepper. I'm too rattled to think through what would be best. Tunic upgrade? Maybe I'll take a tunic upgrade. Studded leather, what it lacks in protection, it makes up for in cool factor. Uh, and I think while I'm at it, I can also buy the sticky hand thing. Gecko's other foot. Channel the powerful sticky force, the same force that holds the cosmos together. That's a funny description. That's all sold out. I'm rattled. I got... I... I don't know what to do. <laughs> that really sucks. That really, really sucks. Oh, far out. I don't know where to check my artifacts to see where it lists specifically that I, I do still have the shadow beings. Like, I got the achievement. The game specifically gave the achievement, I think. It did. It did. But I didn't actually pick it up. So I don't know. I'm so excited and so upset at the same time. It's really hard to know what to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I keep doing runs of this game because I feel like now I've kind of beat it. I'll probably keep an eye on uh, the development of the game, see if they add more to it, things like that, and if they extend it, if uh, this opens up and, and stuff like that, then I can return and, and explore things more. But that felt like a, a good conclusion. It felt so anticlimactic, but it was still a good conclusion because we still finished things off, you know? So I was so distraught about how things went at the end of all that that I, I just couldn't leave it like that. I, I went on the Discord and I basically posted a screenshot of my death slash win and was like, what do? <laughs> and people said, if you make it back to this pit, the boss should be dead and all that stuff should be avail available to pick back up. Uh, in a very stressful couple of off-camera hours here, I have 
been doing, I think it took three runs to get back to this point. Lots of crappy deaths, but a few of them were very profitable. I made lots of gold and lots of thorium. So in a roundabout way, I kind of got all that back that I lost. It was just took a bit of a time investment. I was able to put some of that towards the studded leather jacket. What it lacks in protection, it makes up for in cool factor. I think that's new. I think the thick hide gloves are new, made from a creature with a thick hide that brought all the smiths to the yard. <laughs> it's thick, all, brings all the, like milkshake, brings all the boys to the yard. Reinforced leather bag, the same leather bag as before with a patch over the hole. So that's new. Oh, I also bought pepper. If you thought the salt mines were bad, wait until you see the pepper mines, unknown peasant. That has added 10 to each stake. Stakes are like 40 now. Everything way better healing. I bought quite a bit of stuff, guys. I also got the gecko's other foot. Channel the powerful sticky force the same. Maybe I maybe I did buy that at the end of the last episode. I might I wherever I left off recording. I might have bought that already. Um maybe a shop expansion. I don't know. I was able to buy quite a bit of stuff, so I have quite a bit of upgrades. Something to give you guys a bit of context of how stressful and difficult this run was. Here is a screenshot where just a few like rooms prior, I was literally down to one health. Thanks to the butcher's cleaver, I was able to like kill a bat and get a stake and kill a bat and kill a stake and then take some damage but then kill a bat and kill it was terrible. It was awful. I barely pulled out of that. I was losing my shit. And so much so to the point that I got an achievement that was like a uh, glutton for pain, I think. It was healing a thousand damage through food only in one run, or like a thousand health worth of food healing. Yeah, I almost died a boatload in this run. <laughs> I happened to find a few different blueprints along the way. I haven't purchased any of those. We can go like look at those together in a minute. I just gotta hop down here and hope that this guy is dead. He totally is. The blueprints that were down here are all gone, which is super unfortunate, but I can actually grab the artifact, Nori's Fragment. I have no idea. Down? I thought it would just take me back up to the top, maybe. Oh, God. Okay, I'm glad I came back, because what the hell is going on here? What is this moth? Death's head? Peasant, you have done well to adventure this far. Unfortunately, the Undermine ends here. But as we speak, the architect architects work tirelessly to extend it. In the meantime, please lift that summoning stone. It will re-summon the ancients and imbue them with more power. You, well, your journey ends here, and you'll you will be replaced with another, as is the cycle. I crap, I think I might end up losing all the gold still. I wasn't sure about that. Raises the ancients and grants them new power. The old ones are never truly destroyed. So that's how people have been fighting some of these bosses for a second time. I got to keep all my gold. I did get to keep all my gold, which is really nice. I feel like I've just seen videos of people like re-showing off, showing down, throwing down against like Celt and stuff. I guess that's how. Uh, I guess... This has already, uh, that, her dialogue and stuff was already good. Basically, I was just missing that, missing that summoning stone. Uh, I'm trying to double check what were the new blueprints I'd gotten my hands on. The adventurer's hat. Turns out I couldn't have found it at all before. Discover more secret rooms, suitable attire for spelunking and dank caverns, exploring dusty tombs, and that's about it. I will immediately craft that so I can have a cool, stylish hat. Oh god, the next level of this is insane. I did not realize how much it cost. How much have I upgraded that? That would be the seventh. I've upgraded some other things far more than that. They don't cost anywhere near that much. I believe I found a couple potion things that were pretty cool. Transmute in a bottle, I think we had seen that before, but Immolation Potion burns nearby enemies, douse yourself in a living flame that only has hunger for your enemies, and a bottled pilfer, we may have found that one together too, releases a hoarding pilfer, a bottle containing one hoarding pilfer, dozens of axe pommels, and countless smooth rocks. So I, I'll, I'll brew that, so I can yank that to take down with me. Hmm... It's probably about time I buy the carry an extra potion. I still got 10,000 left to spend. The cayenne is the next step. 
crazy expensive. The ornate sensor. Start with the more powerful random blessing that seems pretty cool. I'm gonna see if there's like a split of 4,000 and 6,000. I could grab those two or two of those. Is there something in here? I could go better throw... I could buy a lot of different stuff. Alright, first up, I think I want the shop expansion. Uh, the words very good are written in large bold letters and the R is backwards. Better, more often finding special items. This is uh, an even larger expansion of that, I guess, if I really, really wanted. The damage... Which of these is, like, least upgraded? Well, this is technically least upgraded, but, like, it's already pretty damn strong, as is, pretty far and everything. A golden axe, the kind of axe a beast-riding, gnome-bashing barbarian would use. A reference to the game Golden Axe, I think? Or Gauntlet? What the hell's the game called? It's one of those two things. I... I'm setting this game down for like a while. I the daily videos has been very fun, but it takes up a lot of recording time and all that. It, it takes a lot to, to put this content together. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, I might wait until things are expanded, till there's deeper dungeon to to crawl down into. I I'm have yet to determine. You can see that they're probably intending to add two more, two more steps to this. Seems to be a thing. But there's like, uh, achievements. Let me, let me kind of take a peek at the achievement menu here. Okay, most of the stuff is just for fully upgrading things, fully expanding different shops. There's one that is an achievement for defeating Celt, Mortar, and Nori with the same peasant. And the only way you can do that is in this like current mode now the new game plus added challenge mode sounds like that would be very difficult uh might be something fun to mess around with in the future it would be very tough though oh there's another character to be rescued that's curious oh god there's insane stuff for beating the different bosses without upgrades no thanks that sounds awful yeah, most of the achievements are about expanding shops and things like that. Whoa! Wait, do- if I- if I go on a run now with this, do I have to in some way activate it? It's not permanently, oh, all these guys are alive again now. I have to, like, choose to do a run with that, and I have to beat the game again to get another one again? That's my understanding when I see the fact that there's a one next to it. Ah, uh, I think I need a break from the game, though. It's been crazy fun. Uh, it's so awesome expanding your character and, and all that sort of stuff. Maybe I would upgrade my guy more before I try and challenge myself with the kill all the bosses in one run or anything like that. But anyways, I couldn't leave the last recording where it was. I needed to, to fix that. <laughs> so I'm really glad I did. I'm really, really glad I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.